Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence, and if not, I hope you feel uplifted after today's video. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community, where we read a chapter of the Bible every day and then discuss it afterwards and in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it opens the door for more people to join our community. And while you're at it, check the description box. We got a lot of great stuff in there. So today we're going to be reading Job chapter 36, and uh, this is um, a continuation of Elihu. Um, this is Elihu reminds Job of God's justice, and we're just continuing that conversation. But before we get started, I wanted to say a prayer, if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together here on His Princess Christian Community. Thank you for opening the door for people to join our community, for connecting us and strengthening our bond. Thank you for opening our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and our mind to your word. Thank you for your wisdom and understanding and clarity as we seek to interpret your word. And thank you for the courage to apply it to our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Job chapter 36. Elihu continued speaking. Let me go on and I will show you the truth. For I have not finished defending God. I will present profound arguments for the righteousness of my Creator. I am telling you nothing but the truth, for I am a man of great knowledge. God is mighty, but He does not despise anyone. He is mighty in both power and understanding. He does not let the wicked live, but gives justice to the afflicted. He never takes His eye off the innocent, but He sets them on thrones with kings and exalts them forever. If they are bound in chains and caught up in a web of trouble, he shows them the reason. He shows them their sin of pride. He gets their attention and commands that they turn from evil. If they listen and obey God, they will be blessed with prosperity throughout their lives. All their years will be pleasant. But if they refuse to listen to him, they will cross over the river of death, dying from lack of understanding. For the godless are full of resentment. Even when he punishes them, they refuse to cry out to him for help. They die when they are young, after wasting their lives in immoral living. But by means of their suffering, he rescues those. Who, by means of their suffering, he rescues those who suffer, for he gets their attention through adversity. God is leading you away from danger, Job, to a place free from distress. He is setting your table with the best food. But you are obsessed with whether the godless will be judged. Don't worry, judgment and justice will be upheld. But watch out, or you may be seduced by wealth. Don't let yourself be bribed into sin. Could all your wealth or all your mighty efforts keep you from distress? Do not long for the cover of night, for that is when people will be destroyed. Be on guard. Turn back from evil. For God sent this suffering to keep you from a life of evil. Elihu reminds Job of God's power. Look, God is all-powerful. Who is a teacher like him? No one can tell him what to do or say to him, You have done wrong. Instead, glorify his mighty works, singing songs of praise. Everyone has seen these things, though only from a distance. Look, God is greater than we can understand. His years cannot be counted. He draws up the water vapor and then distills it into rain. The rain pours down from the clouds and everyone benefits. Who can understand the spreading of the clouds and the thunder that rolls forth from heaven? See how he spreads the lightning around him and how it lights up the depths of the sea? By these mighty acts he nourishes the people, giving them food in abundance. He fills his hands with lightning bolts and hurls each at its target. The thunder announces his presence. The storm announces his indignant anger. Amen. So what did you think of Job chapter 36? Um, I'd love to hear how you're feeling about it. Any insights or interpretations you have, leave it in the comments below. Or just say hi and you know, let us know that you're a part of the community. Maybe leave your favorite emoji. Or tell us how God's been blessing you. Um, we'd love to share in that praise. Um, so in this continuation of Elihu's speech, um, he's really just kind of continuing the same things that he was saying yesterday. You know, 
he feels like he's defending God in this case. And in his eyes, God is punishing him, punishing Job, not just for um, the sins that he has done in his past, but maybe sins maybe to help prevent sins that he will do in his future. And it's just, and he's basically saying that um, if you listen and obey to God, then you will in turn be blessed and live with prosperity for your whole lives. Your suffering will end. Your distress will be gone. You know, God is preparing everything for you. If you will just admit you're wrong, repent, and then, um, you know, God will bless you. So, um, you know, this is the same kind of theme that we've heard all throughout Job. Um, so I'm interested to see how you feel about it, how you feel about suffering in general. Um, as far as God is concerned, um, you know, we're getting towards the part in Job where I think we have... 37 is still a continuation of Elihu and then in 38 that's when the Lord comes in and speaks so I'm um, I just can't wait for that part because that's the best part obviously but um you know so I, I'm really just interested to see how you feel about God's justice and I know I kind of asked this question in the um, last video yesterday but you know just to kind of continue on with it as far as the question is do you feel like this is kind of like my, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Minority Report where they punish um, people before they commit the crime, just the thought of it. So I'm wondering if you feel like that's something that is on God's radar. If you feel like he potentially makes us suffer to prevent our future wrongdoing, um, to remind us of his wrath so that we will stay in his good graces and continue to be um, righteous in his eyes. Um, so I'm just wondering if that's something that you feel like um, God does and how you feel about it. Um, so with that, I'm going to say I hope you stay blessed, stay in God's presence and have a great rest of your day. I love you.